in a given week, how many hours do you think you waste on manual tasks just trying to engage your community? As a creator and community builder myself, I know that I spend or used to spend way too many hours doing things that I could easily have automated, but I just didn't know what tools to use. So I've discovered this amazing tool, one of my favorite tools that I've been using over the last year or so called Burb. And this tool helps you automate a lot of the different things that you might want to be doing in your community, but you just don't have time for. So I'm gonna share with you what it looks like and the behind the scenes of it in this video. So this is Burb and you'll start out just going into your home space, but then when you're just getting started, you wanna set up your integration first. So Burb integrates with all of these tools, many of which us creators might be using. So things like Slack for our communities, things like uh, even Google Workspace. This is a new integration that they've added. Airtable, Discord, our LMS systems like Teachable and Thinkific and our community platforms like circle.so or, or Slack here. And our marketing tools. I almost forgot marketing tools. <laughs> so all of these tools that are disparate, there's so many of them, and this tool can help bring them together. So here are a couple of ways that I use it. First of all, you can see that I have Circle connected, I have my learning management system, Teachable connected, and I have ConvertKit, that's my email marketing software connected. So in this way, things can flow really easily between Teachable students learning things things, into communicating about learning things inside of the community platform, into actually emailing folks and marketing my courses and other programs within ConvertKit. Okay, so how you get things set up is you actually just set up those integrations and then you start to integrate those platforms and bring them in into members and then you can set them up as groups. Now you can set up as many groups as you want in here. I have these set up as the cohorts that I run for my students, which means within Burb, I can actually say I want to email everyone within one specific program. I can go in here and I can, well, instead of emailing, I can actually just send them a direct message within Circle, which a lot of them are checking their Circle messages more rigorously than they are checking their emails because they get so many emails. So I can do all that from one place. So some of the things that I do with this, number one, one of the things that I do is I have this automation set up that allows me to message the most active members in my community each week. I love this because what it allows me to do is never think about it, but immediately send messages to those who are participating more in the community. And one thing that Burb does is it actually makes sure that you're never double messaging someone. So let's say someone in my community is really active every week. Well, every week they're not gonna continue to get this message and realize that it's an automation. They're only gonna get it once, okay? So I have this set up and what I do in here is uh, Burb actually auto tags when someone is most active. And then I have this message set up. Hey, member first name, because you can customize that. I just wanted to say that I appreciate how involved you've been in the community. Your contribution helps everyone feel more welcomed and safe to participate. It's very simple. And many people, not everyone, but many people say, wow, thank you so much for saying that. And then I can start a conversation with them from there. So it's not about me being a robot, me automating out any human element of my work. It's about starting a conversation and expressing gratitude in a way that is still scalable for me. And I can do this with hundreds of members if I want to over time. So I have that automation go out every single week and I'm getting messages from my members saying, thank you so much for recognizing what I'm doing. Another thing that I use Burb for is I actually can go through and schedule messages or, or posts in Circle. You can schedule either a direct message or a post within Circle. So I actually schedule here weekly theme posts within Circle. Um, this allows me to over time, create our, our theme posts. Like on Mondays, we always do weekly check-ins, what everyone's working on. So you can see over time that I've sent out all of these uh, weekly messages and then I can batch them. I can do them all at once. So for the next two weeks, I don't have to write one of these posts. It goes out on Monday mornings and it just, goes out like magic. <laughs> I don't have to think about it. And members can then participate in the thread. I can contribute to the thread, um, but I don't have to be part, I don't have to be there at 8 a.m. on Monday morning when this goes out <laughs> to the world, okay? So that's another thing that I use this software for. Third, I have automatic welcome messages that go out in Circle when someone joins the community. Now, my community is primarily cohort driven, so this isn't something that is saving me a ton of time on a regular basis, but right when a cohort starts, this saves me a ton of time. And I know for people who have evergreen programs or their communities are always open, this will save you so much time and energy. So if you're using Circle, you can have it send to um, anyone that joins the workspace a welcome to the community message and you can completely customize it.
present and you can personalize certain aspects of it. So you could use just the member first name, you could do their full name and if they don't have the full name within a circle yet, you just call them friend, um, their member email or username. So this way you can actually say like, hey Angela, welcome to the community. We're so excited for you to be here. And you can then put another call to action within those messages. So maybe you have it go out a week after they join or right away when they join. Either way that you're thinking about it, you can then schedule out a call to action, like make sure that your profile is filled out or make sure that you fill out our baseline setting survey. Whatever you want that first call to action to be, this can then supplement the things that you can already do in Circle to onboard your community members. There's a whole onboarding feature within Circle, but this helps you to add more to that experience. And I found that the more little bits of information with one clear call to action you can have in an onboarding process, the more effective that process is. The other thing that I use Verb to do is actually build out uh, notes and bios and tags for all my members. So this is my own profile here, so I don't have anything filled in here. But if I want to, I can add infinite tags. So I can say what time zone people are in. Maybe I can say EST time zone, add that. And then I would have a tag for all members within my database who are in that time zone. Or I could have a tag for everyone who I know who is just starting out. So maybe I'll call them a newcomer and those people will just get specific messages. Or maybe somebody has a dog, and I'll say dog owners. <laughs> um, I have been known to do uh, themed, like check in on people's pets <laughs> posts before. So then I can message everyone that has a dog to say, let's share our dog photos today. How's your dog doing? Okay, you could take that off if you ever need to as well. Um, oh, dogs, I love them so much. <laughs> And this is really just the tip of the iceberg. So in the future, I plan to do things like actually connect Verb within my internal team Slack so that we can be notified when new posts get added so that we can be sure that we um, can see who's going to respond to that post and basically delegate out our community management. And so it's not all on me in the future. So that's one of the things we can do. We can also have it send out uh, emails from our personal email addresses on our behalf based on member actions and Airtable. We can use it to do things like track, you know, who's filled out certain surveys with it or forms within Airtable. We can track uh, tags based on form fields that people fill out within Airtable forms. So you can really automate a lot of your onboarding within Burb. And like I said, this is the tip of the iceberg and I know that this team is just getting started. So I can't wait to see what else they come up with. So if you wanna save a ton of time and not do as much manual work, but still see engagement increase within your community, I highly recommend looking into automation software. And Burb is the only software that I know of today that brings all of these things together and allows you to manage them from one place. So I highly recommend it. Let me know what you think.